Charlie Winona Kicks. I turn my volume down so I don't get any echo. What's up, dude? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not much, man. How has your week been? I saw what did you, I saw something you posted this week and I wanted to comment on it and now I can't remember. Now the only thing that's coming to my mind is like the New Balance outlet, but there was something else that was yep. some, more important and now i don't know i was out of town this past week that's what it was dude how was las vegas it was good um yeah it was really good so flew out wednesday morning and my first stop was jordan's house how was that yeah it was good i filmed a cool little mini doc of his place um it was cool he's got a cool little setup he uh I just got an email that I won the Jordan five Dawn Amam um, and yours. Look at that. Mm. Just popped well, there up. You go. So it's a good day. Uh, while it's hurting <laughs> with that two twenty five retail, we'll get into that yep. later, uh, but, uh, uh. <laughs> uh <laughs> um, yeah, no, I stopped over there. We had him on the pod. He's a great guy. Just finished up the wear test with him. Uh, he's got a sweet place out there. Both of them do. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he's showing me some upcoming projects and so it was cool to, actually chat with him in person for the first time so jordan sure. if you're listening thank you for having me over breakfast was delicious um so that was fun and then uh hopped in the rental i got a dodge challenger rental car which is fun um i remember seeing that yeah yeah no so before we bought the honda hrv was test driving a few challengers sky packs and stuff and uh, it's hard to tell on a test drive because you drive them for like three miles and that's it. Yeah. Um, and now that I've driven a Challenger, I would never buy one. I don't think unless it was a V8 Sky Pack, something like a lot of horsepower. And this was yeah. a V6. It's just they're so big body and they're hard to like maneuver. And the interior is lacking. Like it's the same interior from a 2015 to a 2023. And after having the Honda, it's like that hurts so but yeah. glad i rented it it was fun because now i know um and then headed down to laughlin nevada kind of old person mini las vegas and uh shot some photo and got to finish up the video for my dad's golf tournament uh, about 150 guys and ended up doing photos and videos for the first two days and then the third day somebody got food poisoning from one of the restaurants and uh Fish tacos did them dirty, and I got to play and won some money. So oh, it really? was a good trip. Oh, yeah, cool. no, it was a lot of fun. So that's super cool. Got a little color, which was nice. Not a ton, but a little bit helps in it shows. Minnesota here. Now we're in the now we're in the it dog days of shows. winter. It's coming down, so there's gonna be no sun. But what's the temperature like over there? How how bad? It's been it very already? nice. Uh, it's really, fifty three right now. Um, yeah, it's about the same here. I mean, it's like sixties. Like, I'm no, it's. Uh, it, it's it's usually snowing by this time of the year so we are thankful it's been nice so back um, and forth yeah so i had that and then um got a whole bunch of stuff from nike yesterday which is fun i saw that i have a whole yep. cart of stuff that i've been meaning to get but it's like all clothes and i'm like i want to get shoes to review shoes mm -hmm. And like I have dug through every shoe on their list like so many times, and I'm like I just can't decide. But are there any of them? Have you reviewed any of them yet? Aside from the ones with the like slimy looking grips around the upper, I don't even know what those are called. Uh, so, I'm trying to think of what those were. I don't know what they were. The one I was looking at, it was the same model, but it was black and had like the green on it. I don't think they have laces, but they're interesting. Yours was like uh, blue. Okay. Yeah, I totally drawn a blank, but um <laughs> got uh, I'm trying to think of what I got. I got some few pairs of Air Forces, different types of Air Forces. Um some Air Max Terrascapes, I think was one of them. Um okay. Too many shoes, man. The boy doesn't even know what shoes he's looking. Just a lot of like GR stuff that's kind of cool that yeah. I thought would be like a good review. So for sure, you'll see it well, over the next few weeks. But I like the little series you at least started with the first one, just like under a hundred dollars. 
I think it's pretty good. Like, shoes, cool shoes that you don't know about that are basically affordable. So because there's ton out there. There's mm-hmm. like a few SBs that I've had my eyes on that I've wanted to scoop up and review. Some like, Janikowskis and stuff. Yeah, like there's at least two or three silhouettes that I'm like, oh, I feel like this would be cool. So I may just pull the trigger on those, see how they go, because I don't know. I could always use some skate shoes, but now I'm like loaded up on stray, so I'm I'm good. Yeah, you got good. the good plug there. So <laughs> I'm like, if I want to skate, I'm gonna skate. Yeah, but, fair enough. Um, so yeah, I got a bunch of Nikes. Got uh, both of the unheard of collabs in. Got to drop the video on those. Those are pretty nice in hand. There's a ton of stuff in the box, so it's gonna be a cool video. That's sick. um, yeah, pretty hyped about those. They're sitting at like a hundred bucks. So if anybody wants a pair, That's you can pick bad. them up on StockX for like one twenty under retail. So yeah, and they were what... limited to a thousand pairs each i believe so that's what kind of blew my mind i was like dang i did not know that but yeah, yeah. it's like i was talking about last week i think I, i've just been scrolling through stock x and goat recently and just everything is so cheap i'm like let's go well Finally. yeah speaking of um so i was gonna sell just a bunch of stuff another little mini sale i was gonna do it on my story and uh a lot of it was from just the sneakers app, like satin yeah. breads, like never got to the review, just times kind of passed on it. I don't really need the personal, like, let me sell it. I'm trying to think of like uh, other stuff like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, like the candy corn SBs really like them. Don't think I'll wear them. Like I'm trying to be more strategic with personals, just, so I don't need, I mean, I look at the wall behind me, like I don't need anything. So, um, same. And if I look at the wall and I'm, my new thing is if I look at the wall when I'm going out to dinner or something and I'm not going to wear it, don't need it unless it's like a sentimental pair. So, or something a company sent me or a, a friend or something like that. So stuff like that, I was going to sell it. And then I looked at my app and I'm like 60 day return window. So <laughs> I went to the Nike outlet in Egan and returned like 10 pairs. And the guy was funny story. The guy was actually, he's like, do you have a sneaker page? I was like, yep. He's like, I think I met you in sneaker con Bay area, which is like super random, but it ended up being the case. And so I returned just a bunch of stuff and it was better to return it than to sell it. Cause I would have lost on shipping. Like it, it just worked out. So there you go. <laughs> So I was, I was just like about those the other day and I was like, I gotta get rid of these, man. But sorry. Yeah, I mean it's a cool pair, but I just I don't think I'll like I have eighty five Chicago's, I have Lost and Founds, I have the Spider Man's, I have Metallic Reds, like I have an I have the custom highs, I got the Chinese New Year's behind my head. Like I have five or six red Jordan ones. I'm not gonna wear it like the sad breads. Like it's a cool pair. I like it, it's cheap, but let me just return it. So yeah, market's down, which is interesting. It's it's an interesting time in the community. Mm-hmm. So, I love it. But yeah, great call on returning cuz as soon as I get a chance. And gone. and there was even some stuff that I was like this is definitely out of the return window, but 60 days is a long time, so it is. It doesn't seem like it is, but that I mean it's a while. Two months. But... Yeah. So, yeah, that <sighs> and then um Brand of the new, there's a new New Balance store in Egan, opened up two mm. weeks ago, brand new store in the outlet mall, and they had 30% off everything, so I picked up those uh, the 650s, and then the, oh, the 990v6s, I think they were, and I picked them both up for like 170 bucks. 990v3s? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, but um, cool pair. I wore them today. They're very comfortable, so... Yeah. I've wanted that pair for a minute. It's one of those, like, if I ever saw it out, especially on discount, I would buy it, but I'm not going to order it on, like, Goat or StockX because I'm just like... I mean, if you want me to pick you up a pair, I know they had a full-size run. Oh, maybe. I mean, that's how it was with, like, these black ones. I was like, I always wanted these, but I don't want to order them. Yeah, no, fair enough. They were there, and I said, uh, it's time to go. I mean, I'd have to shit. I mean, buy them 130... Uh. They could be at your place for 140, so I just wait. 
Yeah. But if you do <laughs> like, get the impulse, I'll run over there and get them for you. Exactly. Ship them to you. There's just so much good stuff out there that it's hard for me to like really, I don't know, go after. Mm-hmm. I don't know. No, I I agree. So yeah, it's Weird. been uh, it's been busy. What about you? This week has just been kind of all over the place. Been a lot of just content, getting random packages in. A lot of like hoodies and stuff that I need to review. Like I'm doing a review for hoodies and stuff. Yeah, like old school something. They do like off brand jordan brand hoodies and stuff so they sent me two of theirs that i'm gonna review and then try and get rid of because they're not my style but is what it is then fair enough hours sent me two hoodies to review which is dope always need hoodies then nice little clothing care package from stray can't complain it's been all about hoodies recently apparently then put up these lights that i dig they're not bad it's nice little just ambiance to everything still trying to are they uh color changing Mm -hmm. all through like app on my phone can kind of mess around. i like them a lot they i think they help your set because they are ambient where they're not just like you can see them but they're like diffused against the wall so yeah lights up the stuff on your shelf i like it a lot i like it it's fun to add a little more depth to everything but yeah outside of that it's just been grinding i feel like it content like every night well like every morning i'll start with editing work then edit then hang out with anna and then nighttime edit and i'm just like oh okay i'm tired i'm getting tired but it's the grind man yeah it's been fun the vlog has been so much fun i've been having a blast with that and then this week, i love I'm watching them i jump back into actual shoes and i'm like yeah the vlog more <laughs> like, this is well, so keep much pushing easier. i like it I, i've been watching all of them through i mean i i enjoy it I a lot it. it's fun it's, it's fun to make it's just like every day new idea how can i make a hook how can i have a hook for this video like it's a nice little kind of exercise, but plus yeah. it'll be fun to go back and watch it like years later. Exactly. I always think about that with content. Like I'm watching back on like just day one and two earlier and I'm like, oh yeah. Yep. Like, this is, this is kind of nice. I enjoy this, but actually the guy, I got the inspiration to do daily vlogging from this guy. I think his name's Jack Cook on TikTok. I don't know if you follow him. Really good, like has he done Daily. like 800 days of it? He's on, I think he just hit like two or three years straight. I want to say I it's like two years. But Jack he runs Cook. like a, I think he has his own like media company or something like that. Daily yeah, dude, I've been following that, so. him for like two years now. Yeah. That I could never think of his name because he'll pop up like every day. I'll watch Same. it, whatever. But the style, I can definitely see the inspiration from. Mm-hmm. And one of the someone commented and they were like this gives me jack cook vibes and tagged him and he commented back and he was like good vibes i like it and i was like you're the reason you're the reason i'm doing this so i love that that's awesome you glad you vibe but yeah outside of that it's just been grinding grinding i uh i was looking through old photos yesterday because i'm about to hit a pretty big milestone on instagram out of the blue What's the I'm milestone? like 10k away from 100. Holy, I didn't even which, realize. Yeah, it went from like 75 Jeez. to 90 almost, like really quick. And I was like, you oh. did, you did the jump. You're, you're either gonna hit 100 and stagnant, or you're gonna sit at I 90 know. for like six months. I know. I'm stressing because like my goal for this whole year was to hit 100k. And what did you start the year like, at? So that's the funny part. I was that's looking through my goal. old my old like screenshots and yep. when we started the podcast, I was at I think 1200 followers. Holy shit. So I was like a little over a year ago, which is crazy to me. I was like, 
Why did Charlie start a podcast with me? I only had do it. I was just going to say, <laughs> give me props investment. I know. Isn't that crazy? I know. I knew. I knew right I away. I was like, this is this kid's going to blow up. And it's not even kid because you're six years older than me. But it's like, true. no, dude, I, I knew. And it was more, I think about that all the time where it's like, I don't even think about the numbers. It's like, yeah. like Will. Will was one of them. Will Bowers, like it's the quality of work and everything about it. Like the numbers come and I've seen that. You've yeah. seen it now. That's sick. That's it's insane. 1200. I didn't even know that. I was, I wonder what I was at. Probably like, whoa, what know. was it? 50 probably. I don't even know, but I feel like you were more, I don't know. Like that's, I was trying to find a screenshot of like just my page from like a year ago, like around there. But the furthest I could find was like September. Timber, like off to look now. So I was like, "Oh my god, wow, we're yep, we're pretty close to hitting 100k in a year, which is insane." There was a whole year before that with no growth, but 100k in a year, dude, pop up. I love it. That's awesome. Congrats. Yeah. So not congrats yet. It's happening. It'll. It's it's getting. I was at 93k for three months. So. When I jumped things. to 120 and I've been at like 135 for another three months. So it's exhausting. It's, it's the game. Like throwing it at the wall and I'm like, oh, maybe some will stick. But speaking yeah. of Will, he actually hit me up earlier today asking about like the vlog. And he was like, this is something I've always wanted to do, but I don't <laughs> know how to make people care about it. And I was just like, they're going to care regardless, dude. Like, oh, yeah. No, he just went to the Polestar do. event. He knows what's yeah. up. I'm like, you're doing dope shit, bro. I would love to see like just what you do in a day. Like, so I'm I'm glad people are watching it and thinking about like their content approaches and just being like, hmm, maybe, maybe we'll try it. But maybe if I got a fun day, I'll have to do it sometime. My days are pretty boring. Wake up, eat an apple, make some coffee, edit, edit, film, edit. Hang with See, Abby, I, eat some dinner, watch some Bachelor, go to bed. The same <laughs> thing. Like, love the Bachelor. By the way, I haven't caught up. caught up on the Golden Bachelor last night. And See, the, that's what I want to start watching. But Anna was like, "Ah, eh, maybe one." You day guys got to watch it, Abby and I. Oh. And I'm totally. I'm all. You can make fun of me, whatever. I. It's good content. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever watch it alone, but watching it with Abby, it's fun to like kind of talk about it and like exactly hit it off each other when you're watching content so i i enjoy shows like that it's fine whatever sue me but talking about different content strategies i don't know if you want to talk about this but about your story you posted earlier yeah do you want to dive into that i didn't want to yeah so be like (laughs) no i was i was maybe gonna talk about it but no i i put on my close friends list just I don't know, I got like 50 good friends on there and um, just because content, I'm pumping out a lot of content on the shorts. Um, Not a good thing, not a bad thing. I popped out cool edit on some MKBHD shoes this morning and then I did another office video this afternoon about the bike. Um, And it's two like good videos, but neither of them like did well and that's been just the case with everything recently. And I think we've talked about that. It's just been down and especially with sneakers with the market down. Like I'm, I realize that I get that. Yeah. Um, but part of me is like, I got to let it marinate a little bit. And when I do photos, when I do videos every single day for seven days a week, and then maybe even two videos or a podcast clip in there, which we got to get back on the horse with that was, one. I've been thinking about that for the last like three nights but I'm just sitting here like editing the vlog and I'm like, okay, after this, I need, I'll get I need, to it. I'll get podcast. to it this week. I want to get at least three out this next week. It's fine. Um, but uh, yeah, so I just was like, I'm curious on feedback and I'll read some of the responses too. Um, I am just, I think I'm going to play with the idea next week of posting like three or four shorts and getting out one to two YouTube videos long form. Cause I have a few long form ideas bunch of nike shoes i got in here's a bunch of cool stuff you can get on nike right now boom easy video drops coming up do a long form video of the drop news whatever um so there's different things i could do i could do a review of just one pair of shoes or something exclusive or um i got the 
the Simpsons collection is coming. Champ sent me that over. So that's coming. And that could be a whole Sick. video. That's three different shoes. There's some clothing, like it could be a whole deal. So, but it's like, I have 10 pairs of Nikes. I got the unheard of brand. I got stuff. I got to post. Like if I just post 10 reels a day, I don't think that they're going to do as well as if I marinate them a little bit. So I think next week I'm going to play with it a little bit, really hold myself back. Cause it's so easy. Now it's like I'm in such a routine of doing everything that I can pump out a video in like two, three hours, record, mm -hmm. boom. And now I'm shooting everything in S log and manually color grading everything. And it's a totally different game. Um, so, yeah. So I was just like, let me get some thoughts from some people on my story. Um, and I'll read you a couple here because there's some good responses. So I'm sure. Sunset sneakers, our favorite. Less is more. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, everything's handheld from them. Uh, you said definitely couldn't hurt to give it a shot. Do long form all caps. All right. True. Uh, a couple other people, MLB player. I wish I knew more about this. I like the <laughs> idea of long form ideas though. Um, not a content guy, but, uh, my dudes can't relate to that volume obviously, but I've noticed my engagement is way down. And then, um, Romy, another friend, Instagram views way down. I post like six, five, six, seven times a week. Views are just down. And then Jordan, maybe dial back to three to four reels per week, which is what I was thinking. So, yeah, I don't know. I think I just got to let it marinate a little bit. And I've been wanting to get on the horse with YouTube long form. Um, I switched the camera. So now I'm like, I gotta not block it here. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just, it's been a thought. Do you have any thoughts on it besides what you said? I mean, I just think you should do it anyway. Like, cause why not? Like there's no, not to say that you beat short form, but it's like across TikTok and Instagram. Like you've done it. You've done the dance. You're at a very like, <laughs> substantial place as far as like an audience wise so why not try and either transfer it over or build mm -hmm. a new audience on another platform like i feel like i think it's just... both of that with youtube long form yeah mm -hmm. like and i feel like you're gonna see just way more success in the long run especially especially in the long run with youtube and not even to mention like affiliate links just in the video baked in right there so much easier affiliate on actually. youtube is way better for sure like i don't know i just i feel like you would succeed more doing that not that you're not succeeding in short form because we're all kind no, of no and boat, I, I don't think i'm not like, either it's just like why would I'm you put in all of that all of your resources into only doing short form when you can obviously pump out the content at a rapid yeah no pace. it's it's, it's like, not a time constraint it's not a quality constraint like i can do it it's just i've never done full bore on youtube and i've always wanted to and now it's like i feel like i'm doing 2x on shorts when it's fine but i, I don't know yeah if anybody has any thoughts dm us or dm me would love to know but yeah i don't yeah. my views are kind of all over the place like some days i'm like these are good like but others like the review the sneaker review videos have been kind of down but it's like the shoes that i know are gonna do good do good and then like all the random stuff is just kind of mm -hmm. like like i think the white valentine's day sb did like two or three hundred k and then the red one did like 20 and i was like that's weird because they're like the same shoe, but okay. I, I think with exact sneak, and we talked about Elliot with talked with Elliot Page about this. If you haven't listened to that episode, he had a lot of good insights on long form. Um, but he was like, my single shoe reviews are down, like views are down, and I think that's just indicating that the market's down, and part of it's like the stuff people are buying. It has to be good, otherwise, mm -hmm. it's like which is exactly what we're doing. It's like, do I need the satin breads? No, like I'll wait for Madison Square Garden New Balances or something like cool that yeah. I really want. So no, it's something I'll play with. Plus it's like, I, I want to pump out more shorts for the podcast because it, 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 yeah, it's like you've done the dance, not at a million or anything crazy, but it's kind of like, all right, let's but build still. this podcast. Yeah. Let's build this. And so if I'm posting 
a short. Maybe I'll do it next week where if I post a short to my main page, then if I don't do it the next day, we'll do a podcast clip or something like that where it's like one yeah. a day, but half of it's podcast clips, something like that where I don't know. I just I'm putting a lot of effort into these shorts and they're not getting the marination that I think they should because I'm posting on top of them. So I think it kills it a little bit. So, yeah. I, I don't know. Content's yeah. a fun game. It's exhausting, but it's fun. Yeah. I love it. But dang, I was going to say something. I don't remember what it was, but oh. it's okay. Uh, speaking about pickups, too, I see you have those unreleased dunks behind you. Do you like those? Oh. Yeah. I think they're they got really their, cool. their dunk highs, but they got the skinny top, which I really like on and dunk highs. Like blue suede. On the sock liner too. Oh, it's suede. Yeah. So what are they like called? Uh, Dior Greenwood designed them, so I guess it's a collab with her. I want to say it's a her, but I don't really know a lot about this shoe. I know it's based off like Native American culture. Mm -hmm. That's all I know. I haven't wrote a cool? script for it yet, so I haven't done <laughs> my due diligence. But they are cool. I'll probably get to these next few days and then the why you're back there that pair of jordan 11s is that the heritage that just dropped the yes not it is neapolitan it's a seven though they sent he sent me a seven and a half i'm like how am i gonna because they just shock dropped on sneakers and i hit a pair that's yeah. why i was curious they're cool the leather's nice obviously it is kind of weird having the leather on the little lace holes but mm -hmm. it's a six shoe i've always wanted a pair of 11s but i just don't think i would ever <laughs> them off. that's my exact thought i've never had a personal pair of 11s but i guess now i do like those in the what are they the bread 11s those were like the two sneakers like when i first started getting into sneakers that i was like these yep. those in sixes i love them never could i ever pull those two shoes off yeah, you but could if you tried. As, if I went for that like aesthetic, but no, nah, yeah, I just think they're they're so cool. They're so cool. But um, and then I also just wanted to mention this: the Am um, Amanir um, that I just released or I just yeah picked up. Uh, the Don, the white colorway, size eleven, mm -hmm. two twenty five retail, twenty dollars shipping plus a five dollar fee for the raffle service which i didn't that even know was a thing 250 yeah, I saw some people retail I saw some people upset about the raffle fee i was like i just noticed it on my apple wallet i was like link you five dollars and 44 cents it's like okay. bought a lot of stuff from ama Minier. yeah and i've never had that before that is weird i i don't think i've seen that either but i i love their raffle system because if you enter on something and you miss it boosts your chance for the next raffle you enter which and they also had i don't know which one it was i think the dons was the second one but one of the pairs mm -hmm. was um if you entered the the black colorway i think it was then it gave you a higher chance on the dawn pair or oh. the other way around um, yeah, yeah. because you entered that one so i won the pair that i wanted i didn't really want the black pair i wanted the white pair yeah um so because they remind me a lot of grapes but yeah oh yeah so hmm. but yeah I'm also so interested uh little tidbit here i'm not going to go into much but i uh swiped up on james Whit whitner's mm -hmm. uh story just said hey you killed it on the fives um and he said just wait for what's coming in 2024 so uh i said it was basically hard to top and he just liked it so nothing much there i don't have any ideas what's coming but That's he exciting. seems pretty excited about it and they keep hitting so yeah dude like in my opinion like they've had some shoes that aren't like super hyped that you know people just don't really care that mm -hmm. much about but as a whole i'm i'm in here in social status like it's like an 80% Top chance tier. of like a banger. Yeah. And even if it's not like a hit hit, it's still a great looking shoe. Mm -hmm. Like in my, I can't think of one that I saw and was just like, eh. 
I don't know, like the ones. The Mac attacks, like, a couple of those. Yeah, but I mean, all in all, if you had a collection of only Amaminir sneakers, you'd be fine. It would be a solid that, collection. That's gnarly, yeah. Yep. Uh, all right, let's jump into some shoes. Uh, let's do that. Let's start off with Stussy or Stussy. I hate when people say Stussy. It's Stussy. Um, I had a friend in college. We got like a Stussy hat on, I think it was at PacSun, and he called it his Stussy or so he called it some <laughs> weird name. And I was like, never understood that. that but <laughs> That's not what that says. Yeah, these are kind of cool. It's got this like vintage white and university red look with some snake skin on the side panels. With the... It's a pair of Nike Air Flight 89s. They look Crazy. like a, a mix between an Air Max 1 Big Bubble in the red colorway and a pair of Air Max trainers, like yeah. the Travis Scott trainers. I kind of like this silhouette. I don't know what it is about this shoe, but I kind of like it. I don't I think like I would it. ever go for them just because it's a little bulky for me, but I think it's cool. Not a fan of the snakeskin on the side See, panel. I'm not either. But it kind of adds that flair. If it was anything else, I looks like, like a Jordan cool. Four outsole. Yeah, very similar. Like Jordan looks like 4, a bunch Jordan of Nikes 3. combined into one. Which it's like one of those. Those are either miss or miss. Like they usually don't hit. But I was about it. They, they try that all the time, and I can't think of a situation like the spikes and the. Yeah. The legacy like three one twos and the oh my god the yep. legacy three one twos man those that was my first pair like, of Jordans legacy three really? one two dream team yep those used to sell like hotcakes at champs man every time we'd get them I in, still got to get a pair of those rushing to put them on the shelves but these are That's cool funny. I think uh, they released this year for a retail price of one sixty so if you Steep. like snakeskin there you go. That's steep for this shoe. It is. This should be a 110, 120 all day. 160. I agree. Definitely pass. I agree. Not for hmm. me. What's next? Uh, Mac attacks. Mac attacks, Mac, Mac attacks, attacks, Mac attacks. Nike is running them through their blender of GRs. Instead of a red GR, we're getting a white and blue colorway. Um. I had the red oh. colorway materials, yeah. not great. The toe box got all bunched uh, up, looked weird. Even the photos here, which I don't even think they're official photos, but the uh, the Nike <laughs> logo on the back is looks like it's smudged on both of the shoes, and it's crooked, which got to love that. This is going up. This is going down. Uh, quality control on these looks bad. Are these official photos? Because if they are, that's They pathetic. look like they are. I think they are, which that's unreal. And I thought it was like something to do with the Nike text where it's supposed to be like that, yeah. but the K and the E. Like unless it's e. a reflection, but there's no way. No shot. A reflection. Yeah, they look quality. I mean, this is even creased. Like, yeah. And I'm not even trying to be a stickler. It's just like, it's very obvious. Like if you look at the shape of this, like trace it, it's very vertical. This one's like thick. And oh my I don't know. Nike is <laughs> that's, that's weird. Funny. See, that sucks. I I really like this shoe. I, I I mean, I'm a huge fan of blue instead of red, so I would actually wear these. But I mean, <laughs> you can already tell. Like when you pop it's up that, it's like they just look. I don't know. But yeah, yeah quality official. control. But quality of fish quality control is mid just like if you're gonna the, get mac attacks get top. social status mac attacks because you can get them for like retail and they're way better yeah which is crazy and i love that i love that they're still retail because i'm Same. not scared to beat mine up no no i love well, that dude, my pair is fried yes i love that the bottom <laughs> i mean they're fried they need to look to at look. the toe box, dude. That's a little wonky, but that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Uh, this is basically just this next one here, basically just the Travis Scott treatment, but from Fragment on the all white Air Force One uh, low. We got a fragment indented on the midsole and a fragment fragment logo on the back. 
Nothing else appears to be done to the shoe. This is exactly what Travis Scott did. Charging way over retail. You see that? (laughs) It's like somebody pushed their thumb into it. (laughs) What is up with this Nike? Come on, man. Not a fan of these. Is that more quality control? This just looks Uh, dumb with the air and then fragment right here. Yeah, it does. And you can kind of tell from like the grain on the leather or like the texture on the heel. It doesn't look good. No, it looks like exactly just triple white air forces, but why are why are they doing this? Twenty twenty four retail is undetermined yet. It's weird, man. Don't expect a lot. That's like it's such a lazy collab. I hate when people collab on a white on white air force. Like it's obviously cool to be like, yeah, but this one's my white on white air force if you're the designer, but it's like it's fine. You do something you with it. Do the logo blue. Like, come on, dude. If yes, if they would have just done the lightning bolt logo in blue, it looks so much better. But blue outline, yellow lightning bolts. Something, man. Just yeah, something. not a fan of these. Innovate. You. Plus, they're probably gonna be like 180 bucks too. That would hurt. That would. Oh, really I bet they will me. be. Um, uh, this next one, I actually just got a pair. That was another pair that I got, uh, some white on white Vomeros from the Nike website. We got the Sashiko pack coming to the Vomero five, which uh, funny story. I actually bleached a pair of Jordan four Sashikos and they actually turned out pretty cool. I'll flash the image up here. Yeah. Um, and, Dude, uh, I want to do that so bad. I love the Jordan four. Sashiko. It was fun, but they shrunk when they bleached. So they didn't fit as well. So if you do that, go up half size. I learned my lesson, and then they smelled like bleach forever. I couldn't get not get the smell out. So, but they looked very very cool. So, yeah. Um, Vomero. Like every time I've seen someone with that shoe, it's bleached too, which is mm-hmm. fast. Because I saw someone this week. I don't remember where, but I was like, that's such a cool shoe. But these are cool. Got some nice like clay looking hits on the toe box and heel with that i guess kind of like denim quilted denim on the heel as well Mm -hmm. i would wear these probably you know i definitely wear my marrows today they're not bad maybe i'll wear mine tomorrow yeah i like them what's uh retail 2024 160 160 is that what I saw somewhere. Okay. Yep. 160 2024 sometime. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. I would think early, but you know, this next one's cool. I actually got these. I know. I'm looking at your photos, actually. Yep. We got the Nike KD4 Galaxy All Star 2024. So this was an original release. It's now returning as well as the KD nerfs I saw are coming back as well, which is another crazy shoe. So it's about yeah. time they retroed these. I agree. I mean, it's been, I think it was like 11 years since they've come out, but I think they're cool. They're not, they're not my favorite. I don't, I, I don't remember these ever coming out. So I think it's kind of funny. I was just not into basketball shoes then because mo sent me the photos of these and he was super excited he's like you'll never guess what just came in yep and i was like okay they were a big deal back in the day i remember it i remember kd4's like the nerf series and um see i remember the nerfs but i don't know why the nerfs were like but with the special box i was like holy shit you got the nerfs with the box like that those go for like a thousand bucks still dude but the glow on these is insane is it if it if it sees any sunlight it's like have you posted (laughs) a video on them yet no i actually shot most of it today okay i think i have to shoot some more you gotta light those suckers up for the video have to have to but they're cool they're very cool I always loved the KD logo on the back. I always thought it looked really cool. I agree. I agree. Cool. Cool, cool. KD fours. Uh next one's kind of an interesting one. Um 
some Terminator highs. I believe it's Tuskegee, Tuscany. It's not Tuscany. Tuskegee, uh, Alabama based school, the Golden Tigers. Seth had a good point about these because we were talking about these. They're basically Tiana Taylor's part two, but on a Terminator. Almost the whole design identical. is identical. Maroon, yellow laces, the embroidering on the back, like they're identical. So I love the like the font they used on the heel though. Mm-hmm. That looks it just looks so metal. Yeah, it looks cool. Like, you know, it's a cool shoe, especially if you go to the school. Like I would Oh, I was sure. thinking of that. Like imagine walking around campus with your school shoe. That would be Stunting. sick. That would be that. I missed out on that. I yeah. feel like that would be so cool. Well, but, if you go to that university, pairs are still sitting eight through size 10, four through size six. Everything else is sold out. That's uh, crazy. Men's size I didn't even know these came out. <laughs> they dropped yesterday, I believe. Um, because I was going to go for them, and then I was like, nah, it's either yesterday or today, but. Yeah, it's one of the it's like you you would have to have a very niche audience to pull from that. But mm-hmm. yep, it is. Cool. No, interesting. Maybe we'll see more school themed shoes. We should dude. like that. I would love that. Uh, next one's pretty cool. So if you remember a while back, we had Nike SB dunk, dunk high waffles. Um, now we're getting mm. regular dunk low waffles. House of Heat, get rid of your ads here. Uh, yeah, now we're getting regular dunk low waffles. You got a waffle pattern on the side paneling. Harry suede on the toe box. As that well leather as the looks back really heel. good. Leather looks really nice on the paneling. Leather swoosh looks really nice. Yeah. These Quality work. all around. Yeah. I think it's cool. I'm I'm not like really big on like themed sneakers but luckily I'm not this either one's no fairly like tame it's not like screaming oh, this shoe is a waffle but it's got the kind of grid on the side panel i think it looks pretty good yeah i mean you could rock gum outsole too i you could rock yeah. these like and nobody would know but I, I i think they're really cool i'm just not a huge regular dunk fan but they're yeah. cool i like them they did a good job on a material actually looks good which is surprising for a regular dunk yeah because i've been getting a lot of them into review and i'm like these it's hard to talk about a shoe that you don't like (laughs) it's the hardest part of this dude when we get the early pairs and it's like i have to do a review to you know sell the shoe essentially through the discord and i'm like these are trash fair enough it's like uh sucks but that's the name of the game dude but Waffles. yeah, these are these are probably the best that have released recently. I don't know when they come out, but they have not released yet. Uh, the highs released back in 2016. Damn, that was that yeah, one. No date to be determined. Sometime so, 2024 is the early date available on Nike.com right now. <laughs> there you go. So much. I like that. Uh, the plaid pair that's sitting. The those premiums, clothes. yep, those are cool. Those are cool. I almost got a pair of those, but I decided against it. When I when I saw the photo of the stack of Nike boxes, that was one that I was like, he probably he probably scooped. I was thinking stuff. about it. And I was like, the material just doesn't doesn't pop enough on camera, and I'm not going to personally wear them. So that was my deciding factor on those. Good, smart man. Uh, we we're just talking about these the spikes or spiked whatever you want to say spizikes the lows never known how to pronounce that uh we're getting a houston oiler colorway they're returning i guess i don't really know what to say these are really ugly uh really blue little red a lot of blue this model as a whole i think is just fascinating because before i knew what the retro lineup was for Jordan brand sneakers, like one through, you know, 11, whatever, Mm -hmm. all that stuff. I just assumed that these were on the list and I always thought it was such a weird shoe because it obviously combines the three, four and six, I want to say. 
I'm just like, it's, mm-hmm. it's just, I don't, I don't know. I like it in the low though, but the t- colorway is just awful. Yeah. I've, I think there's another colorway coming out. That's like a bread. I, I saw like that. Yep. Black with red. Like that one's not bad. A little more wearable. Just, it's just a weird shoe. I kind of like this colorway because it is weird. It looks like dip dyed, but it's one out of those. There, like, man. I could never. It does wear look this, dip dyed. Yeah. I just love that dip dyed look. But Pass. retail price is one sixty, which is actually lower than I thought it was gonna be. And I think it's fascinating because these use the same materials as all the others, but you're charging. It's not a material two. thing, I'll tell you that. It's yeah, it's uh what charging two twenty for, for a Jordan a four. But this shoe uses all the same stuff as a Jordan four and you're charging one sixty. Interesting. I think they charge two twenty because they know they can get most of their stock on yeah. for that price. Like it's eh. corporate greed. <laughs> what are you gonna exactly. do? Exactly. Uh, switch it up. Adidas Samba luxury sport sneaker politics. I don't know anything about these. Uh, Blue satin, red side pan, or red Adidas logo. They're fascinating. And then they have a leopard print sock liner, too. So every, I don't know how frequently they do this, but it may be like once a year or once, like half a year. But Adidas holds this consortium cup where they basically connect with a number of boutiques across the world. Like they'll have, mm. you know, sneaker politics. I know Wish has done some. Was this the winner of it? Some. It was yes. This was the winner, and then I think there was another winner too. Because I I know Hal Studios was on this too. That's the only reason they I were. know about this. Yeah. So this was one of the winners, and I can't. Uh, the other one's like a big name too, and I just can't think of it. But it's it's cool. I kind of like it, like as a summer shoe, rocking this with sock like just shorts and like no shows like more of a beachy yeah. fit but you know it's like an everyday shoe it's weird but it's unique it's definitely yeah it's out there but it's colorful it's very uh action bronson vibey it's very las vegas i feel like Not you're you. street, <laughs> yeah kind of like that's that's the drip but yeah, it's cool. I've always loved their uh, consortium cups, and this was like one of the first ones I actually participated in because I always miss the others. But you know, yeah, you it's know. a cool idea. I don't mind it. I love it. I wish, like, I just love that Adidas does that and like includes the boutiques and lets them kind of design their own sneaker. I just think that's sick. Well, I know Nike did it with the Sean Witherspoons, the original 97s, and then he yeah. kind of popped off as a designer. But um, yeah, I we just every don't brand see it should do that as much. I agree. Yeah, let the people speak. On to the next one. I think those retail for 130 and they release like on the 18th by the way. So it's that's not out. bad. Not bad at all. Uh, New Balance 1906D collab with Ooh. the Up There brand. I think photos of these leaked. It was either today or yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. And these are sick. The only thing I don't like is the translucent outsole. Which is, I've never seen that on a New Balance. Uh, so I think it's interesting, but I like this shoe. I would rock. I would definitely rock. I've been wanting that all metallic sneaker, but all the ones that are already released are way too expensive. Thank you, Jound. But, yep. <laughs> you know, I don't cool. know. They're cool. I, I already have a couple of pairs of 1906s. So, See, I'm trying to find the right 1906 because I get comments every now and then on TikTok being like, do record the do a video on the 1906 and i'm like most comfortable right pair there. of them because i have these yeah and then i got the protection pack wannabes yeah. um and these are way more comfortable the this is never that collab which i thought was surprising but is it slimmer i mean it so looks these okay so there is a difference so this the protection pack is the 1906d 
which mm-hmm. that's what these are. This is the 1906 R, which I'm just realizing for the first time. So uh, I don't, I think the D is. It just looks thicker, but it's obviously like cushion, materials and everything. Cushion. So it doesn't say, but the R is more comfortable. Noted. That's what I've uh, at least had. So if you're going to get a pair on. of 1906s, get the R's. No D. These are the D, though, right? Yeah. These these are then the D. They got. How the does D. this have the D, and the other ones don't have the D? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> now I'm confused. I, I don't know either. My, somewhere my wires are getting crossed. Yeah, I've never understood. I didn't even realize that I each of each of them. But uh, this one's all you. Let it rip. What we got? It's loading. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we just got leaked images of the new Pata New Balance 991V2. It's like all... It looks like burgundy, but I can't... It's like pink burgundy plum with like these neon green hits on the midsole and laces. I mm-hmm. think... I don't think I would wear this shoe, but I'm excited to see other brands collaborate on this model because to me it's beautiful and i actually so i was listening to the complex sneakers podcast one of those today at work and welty was talking about this model and to him this is like the number one like obviously not like sneaker of the year but like as far as a new silhouette goes he was like really this this is like the pinnacle not this colorway but like the basic like gray with mm-hmm. the teal he was like this i don't know what it is but it is just that shoe where it's like mm, i haven't felt that in forever where you just see a new silhouette and you're like that's a hit but i feel the same as him and i think it's a hit silhouette i just need the right colorway because the retail price is way too high they're like 250 yeah that's just <laughs> First of all, I've never been a big 991 fan. Second of all, retail's yeah. crazy, so it's insane. I'm passing on them, but yeah. they're all made and designed in England, and I love that. But you know, hopefully next year I'll pick up a pair, do a do a decent review, and I'll let you know. But yeah, I'm excited for those. Oh, other than that, man, I think that's really it. That's all that I got. It's all that I got. I'm I've exhausted all of my efforts into talking to you today. Same. Hey, hold, <laughs> hold the ghost can up. We gotta get a little sponsorship up in here. Ghost. Yeah. What the hell, ghost? I've been tagging you in my vlogs. Six fifteen right now, and we're both drinking ghost. So, so it's seven eighteen over here for me. So, yeah, shows you how my night's looking. What are you doing tonight? You Not sleeping. <laughs> yeah. I will I tell you that. Well. Yeah, good one there. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Stay tuned to Seth's vlog and stay tuned to less content from me. Yeah. Stay tuned for that YouTube video. Subscribe to Winona Kicks on YouTube. And you'll podcast clips coming. So You'll be in for a treat this next week. He's got yep. one coming out. Exactly. For so. sure. All right. All right. Well, guys. sweet. Peace. Catch you next week. Bye.